What is up you guys? Happy Tuesday to you. I am heading out to work. Um, whoop, did I have a breakfast today? All right, so here's what I had. I had two slices of Dave's Killer Bread. In 1,000 feet, turn Hold left on, it's onto my navigation. I then I had two whole eggs over easy that I put on top. And I had one of those mini cups of avocado. Whoa. In three Full is turn not left the word. And you know what's really kind of cool? I haven't gained any weight. <laughs> and so I feel like part of uh, this new journey coming up, I uh, haven't started on the meds yet. Don't forget, Friday this week, I'm going for labs. Um, I feel like because I was in such a calorie deficit, for so long, no matter what I ate, if I went off that program, it was putting weight back on. So that's quite interesting. When you eat in a normal range, like about 17, 1800 calories a day, for me that's too much. But I want to be a little over what I'm supposed to be having because once I go on the meds and I cut back and I'm not as hungry, I'm obviously gonna be eating less. So I don't want to start out eating less. You know what I mean? I need to give myself a little bit of indulgence so that when I pull back on my calories, not so much intentionally apparently, I'll have good weight loss. So that's the plan. So yeah, last night I also made myself a protein shake and I threw in blueberries and strawberries and mango. I did a little bit of the plant protein and I did regular milk, which was so good and so thick. I hate milk, but in a shake like that, it was really good. Um, Jess and I were on the road yesterday. We got Panera for lunch, so I had the Green Goddess chicken salad like I always do. But then for dessert, we decided to have a cookie. <laughs> and I had an oatmeal raisin with berry Panera cookie. Oh my God. I am so glad I've never had them before because that could be an addiction. Absolutely. So good, chewy, moist, delicious. Um, so I'm enjoying myself. I really am. And I feel great uh, energy, probably because I'm eating. And so I'm really, really looking forward to Friday. I'm, I'm literally counting the minutes because I wanna see what my labs show. I'm excited to get my prescription and I'm excited to start this new adventure with all of you. All right guys, it's a couple of hours later. I had a wrap with grilled chicken, uh, lettuce, tomato, Kalamata olives, and I had a little bit of coleslaw on the side. I am completely stuffed. In fact, I just can't believe I'm eating this way. It's so hard so hard to get out of that mental state of being afraid of eating anything that it's almost weird to eat it <laughs> but again i'm just i'm taking this time to just hopefully help reset some metabolism issues and um disordered food thinking um the food chatter is still there but i'm trying to uh recognize it and work on that part I know the med will help a lot with that, but I'm still trying to recognize it and do some work on myself. So anyway, I am off to my last patient's house. We, uh, it's a new patient we just started today. So after that, I'll be heading home. And yeah, so we'll keep you updated. I'm full though. Woo, it's weird to have a full stomach like this in the middle of the day. Very, very strange. <laughs> But I'm not mad. It's it's kind of fun to enjoy it yourself. I don't know. How many of you guys are enjoying yourself because you're anticipating going on medication to help with hormones and weight loss? I would love to know. Fill me in, guys. Fill me in. So I'm on the way home and I stopped at Walmart. Look at these pajamas. <gasps> it's shorts and a tank. Isn't it cute? You know how much this whole thing is, this whole set? Less than, how much was this? Less than $10, guys, run. They have them in every color. And look who I'm with, the beautiful Brittany. <laughs> We're just picking up a couple things. Brittany's going away for the weekend. 
So she's picking up a couple things to take with her. And I needed a new set of pajamas because I just did. I still fall from that Greek wrap that I had. Wow, that was filling. It's already almost six o'clock at night and I have no appetite. So um, I'm getting so excited, guys. I, I know I keep saying it over and over again. Let me take these off. But I just cannot wait uh, until Friday. Mongero or Mongero and Zepbound are both the same medication. One, uh, Manjaro was originally made for type two diabetics, but when they realized that the weight loss with it was so huge, uh, they marketed Zepbound as the weight loss piece. So um, the only difference between the two is the pen, the label coloring, and the name that's it that's how the fda works just so you know so if you know somebody like me who wants to go on zepbound i found out that my insurance covers manjaro <laughs> which is the same thing but i am going to my primary care doctor a lot of you are asking if i'm going to a clinic no i'm going to my primary doctor because he's going to be following me right we're going to be doing labs we're going to make sure that my side effects are not there or minor I've gotten so much information on how to not get nauseous and if you do the reasons why so I will be talking about that um, and some other things so all right let's head home and I'll see you when we get there all right well I just washed the pajamas and they're on and they fit nice <laughs> I'm under a blanket because I have no bra on. But guys, I want to talk to you about some of the things that I'm learning. So one of them is uh, nausea. And one of the things I've been following a doctor, I've been reading research, literature, everything, talking to people. I've joined several groups that I've been asking tons of questions in. One of the things they said is nausea will happen if you overeat. So for instance, this medication works with the brain and the hormone receptors, right? So they, re they, the makers of this medication, Eli Lilly explains that it's beneficial if you eat very small meals because when you have a delay in the gastric emptying process, right? The food stays in our stomach longer, which helps signal the hormones that you're full. When it's delayed, it means it doesn't, exit your system as fast as you're used to. And what happens is if you overeat or you eat too much, it just fills it up, fills up your stomach and it just sits there. So you can get those burps, you can get nausea. If you eat smaller meals and recognize that it takes longer for your stomach to empty, then you won't be inclined to overeat and stuff yourself. That's one of the things that they say can help with nausea if you get it. And I found that very interesting because that is true. If you are not on medication and you eat and then eat something too soon, like binging, right? A lot of times you get nauseous. A lot of times you might feel like you have to throw up. It's kind of the same thing. Think about it. So um, I'm gonna get way more into these videos. I wanna get very scientific research backed all those things and um i want to include them in my channel here so uh again friday morning is the set of labs and ah cannot wait ekg and labs and then uh the doc is going to write me the script and i will happily i'm going to show you my first injection we're going to do it together i'm going to take you with me to the doctor um i'm going to take you with me to the pharmacy to pick up the meds going to be doing the first injection together. I have to decide what day of the week I want to do it on because I hear some people have no issues. Some people take it on a Friday so they have the weekend to just be and see how their body responds. Guys, I need to know from you, please, either in my group GLP with Felicia Nurse or down here in the comment section. Let me know what day of the week you do yours on, why, if you think it's good, if it works for you. Like I need support from you guys too. So let me know. And uh, yeah, we're gonna deep dive because Nurse Lori here needs to know everything there is deep to know. And, but I also like to hear, you know, from personal experiences. So those of you on meds, let me know. All right, that's today's video. I will see you tomorrow. And 
the countdown for Friday. Ah, I'm so excited. I can't wait. I love you all. I'll see you soon. See you tomorrow. Bye.